Anyway. Oh, yeah. You know why I actually go like that? Because I sleep, I rest, I sleep, and I rest. It's just restful. So, within your thoughts, what does restful mean? Fulfill your destiny? Is that Beyonce? I think so. But in relation to that way, what kind of Beyonce has the next you of knowing how restful days of thoughts? So within the bed chart, oh, within the bed chart, when you sleep alone, when you sleep with your baby beeper, I think that's what you call them. You know, I got the new package. So when you're just a baby, what does your mom and dad do to you? And what is the difference between mother and father? Mom and dad, mother and father. So in that way, on the restful, sleepless thoughts of thinking how to release the work capacity. No, work. Just work. So in that way, when you relax to work, how can you know how to include the separator of the beeper? Because if the beeper works, then when it works, how do you know that your babies were sleeping? Because they just knew. And since it's just new, since they just knew, how can they divert into being a sissy when they wake up? They cry a lot, right? Don't they? Because the brain is fresh, normal word. The brain is just brand new. I like it. The brain is just brand new. Brand, brand new. Yes, it's brand new. And in the brain, when it's brand new, in restful, when they mature into age of zero to nine, zero to three, and zero to dotty, five, then the babies refresh their eyes in relation to seeing who you are. Mother, father, dad, mum. So in that way, when the embryo just come out, how do you know how to, oh, you know, how do you know how to come out and be a muscle man? No, you know what I mean. But anyway, in that way, if any kind of prediction to work out with those beepers, whatever you call them, peeps or beepers, whatever you call them, how would you know when the sensor comes active? When the sensor comes active, the brain is just brand new. And since the brain is just brand new based upon the, I don't know, I think I just met someone and I don't know what to do. So when it's just brand new, it's just the brain is so fresh and uh, in that time they'll start to notice how to talk and stuff like that. And if they are disabled, then they won't be able to do it. I don't know much about baby feet and baby toes. Because in baby feet and baby toes, how can one of those babies likes animal color? And in animal color, how can they know how to do do? Yes, do do. The voices to become more deep or lower or higher or 
something I don't know. If you notice when you first meet your friend, their voices are different, don't they? And in that time, the pillow of the baby brain is still intact. Yes? So, in relation to no voice being greedy, nerd, the baby brain is still in there because they never know what they used to do when their mum, dad, father, mother raised them up. So in that time, it doesn't really work in relation to those people, of those babies. So if there is any kind of sound that you can hear, that you heard, and then you wake up to give them milk or whatever it is, or, you know, just to calm them down, relax them down because they just woke up or trying to wake up or whatever it is, then in that kind of way, the baby brain thicken the seizure of knowing which one they really are when they are older. So in that time, I don't really know how to be a baby because in that time, since I don't know how to be a baby, it's just the skin uh, maxes the maximum brain vidicu of the lobe in via lines. And in that way, the lobes via line is that when you get older, the baby brain is still in there. It's just like a cow in Constantine. Is it? Or somewhere? No, one of, I don't know, I don't remember which movie. So in that way, I don't know what, you know, the baby's going to have to eat and what like to eat and what not like to eat. And when mum, dad, father and father, no, oh, thicken the vile lines in the lobe by the brain is that they probably mature the age quicker and lesser in relation to the brainless thoughts. So in that way, the baby brain is just like, when you are a doctor, the neurosurgery or surgeons, whatever you call it, you still have baby brains, but you never know. So why do you offer the right marriage to a woman? Hmm? Because being the neurosurgeon, you go and look for a woman, and you go, oh, see, see, if you act like that, you still have the baby brain. So in the baby brain, when you still have the baby brain, is that when you offer right sexual marriage, it appeals to your baby brain. Yes. So when you fertilize the embryo, the next baby is father father of your baby brain. So that is not vocalism of uh, vocalo and uh, via lines of the lobe. It's just your own things that you never know that your mother, dad, mother, dad, raise you up and your baby brain is still in you. So when your baby brain is still in you, the via lines is that the baby brain will actually attract the woman. So when it attracts the woman, it seeks her into watches of anti. Because in that way, when you not look, or when you not know, or when you not do, then someone just appears. And when someone just appears in that reaction, based upon by lines, you probably used to be sleeping together in the soul. So, Mathishan, 
the baby lies. If you end up like that, then when you have another man and you have sexual appeal, and if that happens, your baby brain interact with the lobe. Yes, and then when you give birth to a baby, it's fresh, not from any of you. Probably, maybe, or from your father, father, mother, mother. It's just dido of dicks. So in that way, when the baby has a micro consong, you know, micro bolo, you know, micro probe, you know, any kind of sizes, when it grows up, the practices of it has Ukraine in relation to taking a leak when you go to the tutoy. So in that way, the ancient history of your life is that you look alike. You're not twins, but you look alike. That's why with your sculpture, you look alike. And with your nose, you look not alike, but you stink because it's the overload. No, not overload, overload or something, first word, in two parties, that you can smell food. But in the ancient world, when you can smell food, what kind of things that your granddaddy accept, eaten well, and your grandna accept eating less before you become fat. So when you just wake up being a baby in kidneys, your baby brain will never die until you get older. But until you get older, when you have the next reaper by the sketch how, yes, by the sketch how, he can identify that it's not identical of each other. So being Caucasian, you are Caucasian, but your eyes looks the same. You cannot see. I can see. And then being Asian, it's a illo, no. So in Filipino, is it part of Asia? Because some Vietnamese a mix with Philippines. It's gross. But anyway, the plain nun. Ah, that's for Prince in Philippine. Because in your baby brain, when you get up to about maximum fifty and the other maximum 21 equals what? 71? No. Is that your baby brain comes on. So is that when your baby brain is that your baby brain comes on it is your granny. Why is it dead? Reaper in your granny. Isn't that on YouTube by Buddhism? You know, the evil granny. Don't know, it's on YouTube. <laughs> but anyway, in that way, based upon the dead brain, it's because you never juice into any kind of Miss E.T. Simpson from the Optimus Prime to Akulong, no. To kill yourself. What does that mean? It means that when you take a picture and you look different, yeah, to kill yourself by the dead brain. But that's a baby brain. So when you age up, when you take pictures of beautiful knots, 
then it's you. But in your granddaddy, yes, by Hitler, is that, did he murder Jewish? I think so. But anyway, in your granddaddy, and in, I don't know, you get a little bit of testicle mixture. Then why? I mean, My testicle is big, hang like a bling bullfrog. So how come some of you have like only like one testicle, and some of you have like stretchy scrotum? It's just like a bull, or so in your scrotum, it actually easily no. I don't know much about the ovaries, do you? But in that way, your granddaddy, it's an old age. So, when you're young, you have fresh skin, but it depends on your age. So when you reach a certain age, if you start to notice some wrinkles in your scrotum, is that your granddaddy? No. It's just like a dead granddaddy. And in a dead granddaddy, if you meet someone, or know someone, or see someone, or have a hooker, then all of a sudden, your granddaddy wakes up in your scrotum and tightens it. So, now you know, isn't it, men, gay men, straight men, when you, get, when you have a erection, do your scrotum, oh, that's what you call it. <laughs> Does your scro scrotum tighten up and you have short balls? Mine does. Mine goes shorter, sometimes it disappears. Yes, it goes all the way to my stomach. <laughs> you wanna see that? I'm not showing you. But anyway, yes, it just like rolls up my scrotum. <coughs> no. Me balls. So, me balls? Ah. So, what is a granddaddy, grandfather, grandpa? And in the history of that world, before my scrotum actually measures why the balls sink through the lobes of Ukraine before it pisses out. Because when it pisses out, and because it pisses out, the baby brain is dead. And since the baby brain is dead, how come it shivel into a small pot? You should notice, it's just like your baby brain is still intact. And <laughs> because your baby brain is still intact, it visualizes the impelu of the second balls. And then in the second ball of the second ball, it actually flicks through the vitil of the L, you know, of the third scrotum by your grandma. So when your grandma gets older, if there is a imprint by CSS to design HTML C5 and HTML C6, your grand, what does this say? Oh, I don't think she's a designer. Oh, your grandma's not a designer. Being the career, oh, I don't know. I don't know anything about these things, but it's just like gross. But in gross, if you ever have me in relation to sex, you will notice my balls go all the way up to my stomach. Well, with the pubic hairs, it just grows, it just rolls all the way up. <laughs> but anyway, but the um, the dead brain in relation to the embryo is that you were just born, it's dead. But when it started to wake up by the beep, um, beepers, it will um, try to signal. No, I don't know anything about that yet until later. But you gotta ask Eve. 
Oh, I've got Adam. Does he got big balls? Oh, I don't know. But anyway, in that way, when you find out what kind of life the baby is, there's nothing you can do though. They just have normal life. But they're probably murderers, bank robbers, anything. Guru. That's how it goes. One of the signal. But you never know because pretty much mother just after birth and you know, give birth to the baby. You I don't know. I don't know anything. But anyway. But anyway, in that kind of way, it's just really strange about how the beepers work in relation to knowing that when one baby becomes murderer, do you actually arrest them straight away, being a baby? Oh, there you go, stupid police. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's how the baby laughs. Oh. Strange. You never know. Nothing you can do and you never know. But how come then? Why does the beeper indicate that the signal? No. I think I saw something really strange in my head. I think he arrived. Or no. It's just a baby god. I think so. He just said hello. But in that way, when your brain is dead, but you still age, the baby brain is there. And the baby brain is still there. And in that way, with your granny, which scrotum is solo in the photon? Maybe they have a little wrinkle on the female genital when they get older. Oh. So in that way, the third scrotum is part of them. But you never know. Because you've looked through it, you never know which one's which. Oh, well, nothing we can do about that. But it's just in that matter of time, when there is a sausage in relation to being a mixture of, you know, things magic, then who cares? It's just like later on, in a million years, you become pure. Don't think so. Yeah. That means you can't poof. Why? Your granddaddy or your father? If it is your granddaddy or your father, you can't defense your manuana of man over because when you a poof you camp unfortunately but in that way I think when you meet meet a hooker you have sex with them because they're like bending over so in the deadly baby brain so when you are a murderer are you going to arrest them straight away? And what are you going to do to them? Put them in jail and babysit them? Didn't something happen at Monash Hospital? I went one away and someone locked me up. Like, they put something on the bed and I couldn't get out. Is that a nurse? I think so. I think it was a he nurse. A he nurse? He's pretty evil. He arrests me. He arrested me and put me in jail. What room is that at Monash Hospital? Oh, he just locked me up. I was in the way. What happened? I don't know. Oh. <sighs> don't hurt me. I can't be bothered. I've got news. So, in that way, I'm not even bloody happy. Since I myself still have a dead baby brain in me. Oh. <laughs> so, in that way, when the conversion of the RDP or blah, whatever, autopsy and dead frogs and science swamp. 
gotta know what else to do. It's just like, why am I telling you a weird story about like, balls and dicks and, you know, female genitals. Oh. But anyway, is it reincarnation? Don't know. Don't think so. It's just like I just met some a weird god, you know, a really weird god, a baby god that like impacts the dead baby brain. So when I meet that dead baby god impacting dead baby brain, what happens when you reach a certain age? Then I don't think he'll bless you, but he'll like to have sex with you. Why? Because if he sees any balls that, you know, thin out or shorten to the pubic hairs, wave all the way there, it looks like an egg. No. It looks like a one of the meat that my dad cooks. Goose thingy. In Springwell. Butcher shop. What do you call it? What's a duck thingy? Oh. Oh, I'll ask Gary. What's a duck thingy? Oh, I'll be back in a minute. I don't remember. It looks like a testicle. Oh. Weed. Ah, oh, don't worry about it. He's not awake. He doesn't know. He's just goose thingy or chicken thingy. My dad knows the one he fries. And it's like, looks like a balls. So in that way, you know, like usually my dad cooks like with liver heart, chicken heart, chicken liver, and the other thing, that's your balls. So in that way, how come chickens, glens or glass or whatever you call it, has balls? So <laughs> based on the relationship of animal lover by RSVPC, oh no, I don't know what company that is. If there's a dead chicken with a world. Huh? Yeah, white what white one? White no. Don't worry about it. He's not awake. But anyway, in that way, how do you know that when you actually can cook like chicken liver, chicken heart, and the other things, goose thingy or chicken thingy, that looks like your balls? And when it looks like your balls, it tastes quite nice. Even when you're straight, it doesn't really matter if you eat it. Does it stay healthy or get, or it shorten your balls? And when it shorten your balls, and when you get a complete turned on, and having, you know, visual sex. You know what visual sex is? It's only when you look at it. So when you just met like, girls, when you just met like, boys, and you just have a quick look, does it actually turn you on to see the scrotum? And if it looks like short, that means he can't have sex with you. Oh! Ditch him! Oh! Opponent in civil court. But I don't know, like, when you just heard me, Sana, oh, this magic word for you, warning. <laughs> So, when you first meet someone, right, girls and boys, and then, when you look at 
girls, when you look at his scrotum, is it massive hanging down like a bullfrog or short? Which way do you like, girls? But in that way, if you do know which way you like, and your own thing is similar. Ask the baby god. I don't know what it is. But in that way, why am I... Mm, I'm not going to say that. But anyway, in relation to balls, it's just like a offspring. <laughs> offspring, I think so. So in that way, straight men sometimes act like a lady. It's called an offspring. No, I don't know that one. I'm confused. But in that way, straight men, if you talk like a girl and you act like a girl, it's just offspring. What is an offspring? I don't know what offspring is. Oh, Gina of the... Uh, one of the fingers. So in what... Oh, I can't show you. So in one of the fingers, if it is your grand... Yes, it's actually you. So how come straight men act like a girl or lady? Is your grand? Which one is your grand in the history of life? Mm, I don't know. Do you want to know more about these weird things and strange things about men and women in the life of tree by grand? What grand? Who's bloody Grant Eaton? Ugh. See, what did I know? This magic word for you. Warning. But in the... Oh. But in the... Scrotum. Scrotum is actually different. And... Oh! You know, here's my imagination. You know, when you're a woman, right, and you have pubic hairs, and then when you go older, if you have any wrinkles, men scrotum looks like that. Are they like flipping, flopping out, slashing out, or just tighten so it doesn't get displayed? Oh, you poor thing. Oh! <laughs> I think that God actually possess me to act like this, the baby god. But anyway, when you get old, didn't I do that on Facebook? Like, how old are they? They were still having romance or kiss in the garden. I oh, well. But in that way, is it true though, that the female genital with pubic hairs, if there's any wrinkles, what does it say? Men's scrotum. Are they the same? <laughs> I don't know, it's just weird, isn't it? But anyway... Oh! But anyway, Mona Lisa, in that way, if Leonardo da Vinci is Oh, I can't be bothered with that. He's not even gay, but his balls is different though. So when his balls is different, how many... Looks like a hamburger. I don't know. It's just like... Choose out. So when they meet each other, do they choose out how to win a prize? By grand? What is a grand? You know what a grand is? It's actually before you. After got burnt out. You know, after you come out in the hospital. Yes. So if you have any old those things by the grand, you'll be ribbon to one by Eden. You get a score. Yes, so do test. No, do play and listen and see 
but it really likes. And when you do that, yeah, you just the balls just shovel up like the peepees. And when it does that, it's just come. That's what you call it in the dead baby brain. It's still in you. Because it's intact. <laughs> and since it's intact, if you get a grand level, you get. Oh, no. I don't know. You get a. Yeah, I think that's what you call it. Grand. But the grand is before you, Hitler. I thought he was gay by Papa Galicia. I saw him and thought he was gay. Just strange, isn't it? With. Oh, I'm over it. Yes. Hello. Yeah. Wanna hug? Huh? Yeah, wait. Yeah, yeah, see you when you finish work. Oh. So, anyway, so see, I just automatically act like that. You have to ask the baby god. The baby god? But, in fact, why do you still stay intact like the baby brain is just dead? Well, anyway, I don't know. I'm nearly done. But anyway, based upon the, um, a, um, not a plastic surgeon. What did I say before? Oh, the neurosurgeon. Neuro knowledge? Oh, I don't really remember. So in that way, the two parties, you're one of them. They're just like intact. Then when you first meet someone, do you actually overdrive? to take them home and have some shots in bed yeah. I don't know oh I'm finished I think my partner's going to work my husband no oh. he eat me right now Oh. Is that a baby? Oh. Is that a baby ear or just a TAC test police by baby scrotums? See? Balanced. <laughs> It's balanced. See my eye? It's balanced. John, I love you. But it's balanced. So, in Kelly way, the old histogram of, I don't know who he is, bank robber, murderer, stealing banks and stuff like that, starting the banks back in the histogram, did one of those things become policeman? Did he have sex? Oh, I don't know. It's just like, what's that chicken thing? Chicken liver? Chicken lungs, you know, chicken heart. Oh, go to Springwell, you know, that butcher. I used to cook them. My dad cooks them. But it's very healthy. Yes, but one looks like, you know, balls. So when it looks like balls, is it edible? Hmm, I think it's finished. But anyway. It's so balanced today, see. Check it out. <laughs>
They look like a... I'm crying or I'm laughing. So when you just like fresh, just come out of your mother, how can you become and know which way is emotion? No testing out. Yes. But anyway, um, my query is see, oh, I don't know. I think it's gone now, the baby god I met. I think it's gone. Look like it, and I think so. So in that time, who's he? Don't know. Well, No. That's how your dick flops down after come. No. Excites me. Of me. Never excite me. So when I meet you, I never get a heart on. There's good luck for you. Okay, the next one. Dead babies. I like dead babies. So didn't I, didn't I go somewhere in Clayton and I found something? Is that a palmistry reading? I don't remember. But if girls go and have sex and become pregnant, what do they do? Do they actually like abort them or something? Just like cut the belly and just kill the embryo? Just like animals, isn't it? Really? Any dead frogs? But anyway, in that liberation of Congress, British colony, or whatever, so each one of you, when you compromise, that when you first met and protecting yourself not to have um, babies to become single mother by your granny then how can you convert it into the next country to look alike strange isn't it do you know anything about that in relation to British colony because thefts and Monsol of murderers used to be like that back then because there was no law and because there was no law it drives through the maps like that of I think I'm sitting like this I'm acting like Queen Elizabeth yes but anyway in the British colony when it started the war and stuff like that to level what kind of you know, small dicks. They actually murdered them and kidnapped them. And later on, centuries after 
levels of milli centuries or million it gets bigger does that work on Elizabeth? Do you know why I act like this? I just met baby God. It's a little weird, isn't it? You never get one of these. But anyway, he just said hello to me and thank you for my work. But anyway, in that time, I actually don't know how to divert why the British colony becomes, you know, the next baby. And then they arrived in a different country. It's kind of like the old Hilong. Yeah. So, in that way, I don't know anymore. But anyway, that's why we look mixed. No, we're not really mixed. If their eyes are identical to each other, then you know the skin and the scrotum. Then later on you will know nipples. Next time you meet a, the creator who created nipples. That's how it goes. <laughs> so, women nipples and men's nipple, if one of those sounds like that, is actually... Yes, that's it, everybody. It's precise. So, men and women, when your nipple acts, looks like that, that's what you call it. It's identical. It's just like, you know, the mother give birth to a child, is that it's milk, yeah, yeah. But... If you have that sound, it's identical. But do not marry. <laughs> it's just your nipple are identical. You're not married to the husband. No, you can't marry to the husband because they get deluxed or deformed, the baby. True, true. But when you meet someone that you don't know of or whatever it is, and both of you have the same nipple, it's, that's what it is. I think it's by your grandchild no work it out solvent is by solvent yes of the little no only the solvent so when you meet someone and both of you have the same nipple male and female it's called solvent it's identical Do you know why it's identical? Is it from British colony? Or collector of British colony? Strange. Not really. It's just like when you travel through the Greek Orthodox and it goes into Mulu, Muslim, any Pitu. No, I can't work that one out. I don't like them. But anyway, I think when you meet someone with less scrotum and more balls it's just in fact one of you look molested and when you look molested it's just like amnesia no not really it's just like spunk if one of you look like a spunk you become a prince And it goes like that, Beyonce.